Okay, good morning everyone. It is May 2020. We are on the fifth month of the year and I hope everyone is doing good. Everyone's safe and healthy. I am driving out of my parking lot. Oh, it's parking lot. Driving out of my parking lot. Why do I keep saying parking? I'm driving out of my driveway. Hey, that's why, that's why I said it. Closing my garage door. Doing construction. Uh, let's see if you guys can see. You know what? I'll show it to you guys in my next clip. So they're doing construction in the uh, lot next to us. Mm -hmm. well, we bought this house in 2013. When uh, our realtor came, uh, we met with the realtor here at this property. She was showing us around, she was showing us the inside, the outside. And I remember clearly our realtor, when we were by the driveway, she looked at the lot next to us, which at that time was vacant. It was just an empty lot. There was no property, nothing. It was just nothing but trees, leaves, dead bushes. And if you see one of my previous clips, I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. It was just vacant land. My wife and I, we, um, we opened our garage door and next thing you know, you see a cars you see construction work and, and we were wondering what the hell's going on she, you know my wife she's like oh probably they uh they bought the land and they're doing construction I'm like oh, that's cool no problem but then about a week later we noticed that someone has sprayed. oh sorry about that guys so back to the story Let's see if i can do this while driving it's not safe but back to the story about the property. So one one morning, my wife and I, we noticed there were construction workers on the side of our driveway and they were, we were assuming that, you know, somebody had purchased a property and that they were gonna build a home. But then about a week later, you know, after the construction, they actually had to stop because of the COVID. At that time, nobody was working. Uh, they weren't allowing anyone to work. So they had postponed the project but somebody had came and spray painted and left some pink flags. I'm assuming a surveyor from, from their project had came and installed these pins on the floor and then they had used a pink spray can to spray on our driveway. And it indicated that we assumed that someone, that a piece of our property was not ours. It was actually the uh, property next door. We were concerned, I was upset because it takes a chunk of our driveway. Just to, just to give you the idea, the chunk of the driveway that's not ours and it's the new property owner, we're gonna have a hard time pulling our cars in. My wife and I, we won't be able to pull our cars in because we need the space in order to get inside. We had called the community and the community had told us that we are going to have to uh, contact the company and which we did. Nobody was picking up. We assumed because it was COVID going on and that nobody was working. Uh, we assumed that somebody was working remotely, picking up phone calls, nothing. We had called three times. It had been a matter of four weeks, maybe four times in a matter of four weeks. Oh, and emails. Nobody got to us. So the, so the, um, our community, the board of our community, we had contacted her, the director, and we told her what was going on. She gave us some tips. She says, contact the land surveyor and have them um, come and um, survey your home. Uh, check the size of your property, put some flags on your behalf to indicate what is yours. Well, we did that. We spent a good amount of money. Uh -huh. The smallest that I see is 110 feet on, on this piece of map. Okay. Um, can't be okay. Yes, because you have to agree to it. Uh -huh. And then you may have having to pay them for the land. You'd be buying it from. They did it. Good guy. Uh, we came to find out that that piece of our driveway was not ours. And that's what pissed me off. So back to the story with the realtor. 
when we bought the house in 2013 she showed she was showing us the front of the yard the backyard the inside of the home everything was beautiful when it came to the driveway see i was more concerned of the garage the driveway why because uh, at that time in 2013 which i still am um i'm a car lover back then in 2013 i was a car enthusiast i was always working on my car i was I was always doing something on the car over the weekend. If it was not cleaning, I was doing some side projects, some electrical work, modifying it. Well, I remember that lady. When we were in the driveway, she had, we we were talking, and she looked at the, the dead space, and she goes, your property lies over there. She had made a marking, or she had pointed at something. She goes, you have a big driveway. You have a lot of land. And that's what sold us because my, my plan was to expand the driveway to make it wider so because our driveway you could only fit one car it's a two-door garage but it's a side two-door garage so, but only one car can go through in the driveway to make that turn to get into your garage so what i was planning on doing was expanding my driveway so two cars at the same time can come or at least have two cars park on that side well, now we can't do that. Um, and now we just have to wait until our property owner, the property owner, the home is fixed and then contact them to see what we're gonna do. Um, what they planning on doing because it's their property where when the homeowner, the, the person that made our home, they, they kind of messed up. They need more driveway than they should because it's not our driveway, at least a portion of it. Well, that's the story that I have right now. It's, with what's going on in our home and our with our time while we're home in quarantine aside from work but you know what now that we're here there you go i want to show you guys uh the stuff that we're going out today it's not that much but let's go ahead and thank our customers we have here martin from nevada okay yes i remember what this is Martin, thank you for your order. This is a classic boom box. Uh, one of those portable boom box that you can carry with you. This is going out. You should have it, I would say, three, four days from now. Yes, guys, I have not shaved in weeks. Okay, Jake. Jake, this is going international. This is Magic the Gathering product. Jake, thank you for your order. What do we have here? Quentin from Missouri. Quentin, thank you. I don't want to confuse with what's going on. Kathy from Washington. Kathy, thank you. Okay. We have here Dawn from Pennsylvania. Dawn, thank you. You should have this by Monday. Molly from New York. Molly, thank you. These are Magic the Gathering plastic. I'll show them to you guys. Um, Oh, oh, see, that's right. This is Quinton again, Quinton from Missouri. This is another order. See, it's the same person, free shipping. I was supposed to put them together, but because I was doing it so quickly, I did it individually. So that kind of sucked. So I, I'm actually charging more because it's free shipping. So I could bundle them together. But if the customer, if I charged the customer uh, shipping on one and shipping on the other, I wouldn't combine them. It's just because they paid separate shipping. So I wouldn't do that. But because they ordered free shipping and it was two separate items, I was able to combine them together. But I made the mistake. Either way, Quentin, your products are coming in. You should get them by Tuesday. This is, oh, I'm gonna try to pronounce your name. Ellen, Ellen Nilso. Ellen Nilso? Ellen Nilso from Virginia. Thank you for your order. This is my kid's old Five Nights at Freddy's. It's that red fox. With the patch in the eye. 
my kid had a little teddy bear of him and he didn't want he had it for like a year he had it in his room just collecting dust so i told my, my uh, about three weeks ago i told my kid here's a bag look through all the stuff in your room that you don't play with that you don't need that you consider garbage that was one of them man. and it's old okay i have two more products jimmy from georgia jimmy thank you I believe this is another magic the gathering product And then the final one, this is testing. Oh, that's the name of the company. All right, so I'll just say testing. From California. Thank you. Your order sh should arrive by Thursday. And thank you. Uh, let's see, how many orders are we going out today? We have one, two, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then the big ten. So just ten for the day. This is the big one. Ten packages are going out today, and what am I planning on doing today? I might make another video. One of my projects for today, Saturday morning, is I want to install the Ring app or the Ring um, security camera on the doorbell. I'm planning on doing that today. I'm going to go to the store, get some beer, to the Ring app, and do some yard work. I have a lot of dead branches that I need to cut. Guys, that's all I have. I'm sorry that um, it's not an exciting video. And I was a little bit of whining or just ranting on what's going on with our property but that's what's going on guys uh guys have a great weekend have a safe healthy productive fun weekend and i'll see you guys next week take care